Today, I'm going to preserve these newspapers that originally belonged to my husband's grandfather. His mother came from Germany and resettled in Syracuse in 1800. And this issue was published in 1948, celebrating the 100th year of Syracuse. Newspaper is designed to be recycled right after reading. They're printed on low quality paper, which makes them fragile after time. If your newspaper are starting to flake off, I will actually consult a conservator first. A couple things before we start. I already cleaned my hands. This way I won't leave any oil on the paper. But there is also a cotton glove that comes with Gaylor Archival Newspaper Preservation Kit for extra precaution. For today's video, I'm going to use my bare hands just for extra sensitivity because the newspaper are, are pretty old. Secondly, I made digital copy of the newspapers. This way, I can not only minimize the handling of the newspaper, but also have an easier access to the contents in the future. I also measured the newspaper unfolded with a measuring tape so that I can get the correct enclosures for the newspapers. I chose an um, acid-free, wound-free archival quality box that has alkaline buffer to neutralize acids in the newspaper. I also have some archival quality folders for each newspaper I plan to store in the box. Now, this is an optional step, but I chose to spray a both I have newspaper with a deacidification spray. Lay the paper flat in the folder. Try not to overfill the box. I'm also going to label right outside the box for easy identification in the future. I'm going to put the box in my office where there will be stable humidity and temperature. Do avoid the attic or basement. And that's it. You can go to Gaylord.com and start your preservation journey.